Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Galaxy Ace and this ROM is KitKat ROM V2 and as the name suggests it's a KitKat looking ROM. This is not a KitKat ROM, this is not Android 4.4. It is based on CN CM 10.1.6 that means it's Android 4.2.2 so this is a ROM which is made to look like KitKat so that's well for to be fair uh, Galaxy Ace has to expect only that I'm not sure when KitKat 4.4 can be used on our Ace so yeah just a bit of information let's get started so what you'll see here first is uh, the lock screen which is really made to look like KitKat. You can see uh, this kind of a aura or a background translucent uh, stuff which is actually kind of like the KitKat ROM. I have used a KitKat ROM on the Galaxy S3 and it is really something like this. So that's pretty cool. Let's unlock. Now uh, something which I want to talk about and uh, about, uh, nothing about the ROM. I'm using a new lighting system if you have noticed that okay uh, if you have a problem with the lighting system please let me know so that I can change it in some kind of the other way so that I can change it that's it so yeah let's get on with the ROM so the launcher here is uh, epic launcher which is actually kind of like the KitKat launcher it is it mimics the KitKat launcher so you do have a swipe to the Google Now interface you can search it Google Now for Galaxy S is not perfect it does have its own loopholes uh, it doesn't it, we can't use the uh, search voice search function so that's there um, apart from that it's pretty good launcher you do have all the options of epic launcher or it's called epic launcher you do have all the interface options of that you can see settings which gets you to this setting that is the <laughs> epic launcher setting so you do have a bit of options available now uh, let's go to about phone page so here is the about phone page this is typical cyanogen mod interface so there's nothing extra about it or nothing superficial it's normal so yeah you can see it is 4.4.2 but it's not it's 4.2.2 so just want to clarify that so let's see this is KitKat UI v2 by cupcake so uh, something which is hilarious for me because Cupcake is the first version of Android so yeah uh, KitKat Cupcake yeah that's the thing <laughs> so yeah this is based on 4.2.2 so yeah that's it that's it from the phone page the build band, baseband version is KT7 uh, which I believe is the latest version that is back on 2.3.7 so yeah uh, apart from that the extra settings are basically the same as a cyanogen mod rom you have launcher settings which are with, with what i just showed you guys it is basically epic launcher so you don't you have that from the play store i guess so you can use that from the lock screen you do have um, maximize widget widget pager camera widget music controls from, uh, from the uh, volume rocker button action slider shortcuts battery status etc just as any other ROM theme again this is not actually a theme this is more of a modification it's framework modification and stuff like that which makes all this possible it's not a real theme so you can actually use other themes but it won't work as it should so yeah that's the heads up uh, system setting which has all these again status bar settings etc when I first installed this ROM you had a uh, kind of like the circle launcher so something which I wanted to talk about is the circle launcher is blue in color you can change the color I guess but uh, this one is more of a um, KitKat ish thing you can see the battery right so yeah it does feel like a KitKat battery so that's there uh, AM PM style you can have AM PM and the lock screen uh, all, all in the status bar and all of that functions brightness control and uh, yeah brightness is pretty darn good brightness control status bar one which I use almost every time uh, quick setting panel yes this does one this does have quick settings which is this one being a 4.2 uh, 4 ROM it does have quick settings you can select the tiles and layout which you want you have all these tiles available even the camera which is if you haven't known yet my one of my favorite 
so yeah you do have that option too let's go back and see what else do we have and BLN does work so if you are wondering if that works or not yes BLN does work um, expanded desktop notification drawer power menu clock widget all of these are again CM features it does have C clock that is Chronex clock widget so you ha don't have anything to worry about and yes that much is it about the ROM uh, rest of them are similar to CyanogenMod 10.1 so nothing much to talk about there uh, yeah I will show you guys the boot animation which is uh, actually similar to Nexus 5 but still I have to see show that right let's see so here is the boot animation with the Google Nexus 5 style it's just same as the Google Nexus 5 with the Google and the colored circle just colliding and <laughs> bouncing around it's pretty cool again so yeah so it's about done. Uh, something which I would like to tell about this ROM is the battery life, which is not very good. Uh, you will see in a moment. Yes, uh, you can see battery life is not a very good prospect with this ROM. Well, it isn't with any CM 10.1 ROM. And something which I would like to clarify also is that if you are looking for speed and stability, CM 10.1 isn't the one to go with. Uh, you would be, have much better chance with even a Cyanogen 9 ROM. Uh, Currently, I'm using Cyanogen Mode 9 in this ROM, in this phone, um, because it's really fast, it's really stable, that's the main thing, and the battery drain is not much of an issue for me uh, with the CM9. So, that said, uh, if you are one of those people who really want the latest version and don't care about performance at all, you can use this one, so that's pretty cool. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. And do tell me something about the lighting so that I can be sure that I can use this on other videos. So see you guys next time.